Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be doing a no makeup makeup look or just something that you can do in like five minutes. That's how long it would take me. I should probably time it sometime. I just haven't been really feeling makeup lately. I haven't been wearing it. There's been some times where I literally spend seven days a week not wearing any makeup. I just haven't been like drawn to it and like as excited with it as I usually am. So that's why I've been taking a step back from makeup and YouTube. It, I just didn't feel it was right to come on here and talk about makeup if I really wasn't 100% feeling makeup the way I usually do, if you get what I'm saying. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'm back in the game. I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if there's any change, you know, you guys know, I will let you know. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's jump into it. So on my little hiatus, I should call it, I've, I mean, I've been picking up makeup products here and there, but I haven't really been playing with them, to be honest with you. I've been using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I actually don't like this stuff. It's, like, it doesn't do anything so I'll just take like my finger and just kind of put it where I need it usually like right on my cheek area and on my nose I just feel like when you go and put your finger in it you don't pick up that much product now I'm someone who wears primer all over their face to help my makeup stick so to me it's like okay I have to be digging in this like three to four times just to even remotely get somewhat close to my face to cover my whole face kind of don't like that so i just really put this where i need it and then i go in with my wet n wild rose three in one primer water set refresh and prep spray now i know that wet n wild has been under the fire lately with you know saying they're cruelty free and then they're not or whatever um, I never claimed my channel to be cruelty free. I never claimed to be that anyways. Um, so that's why I continue to use their products, obviously. Um, but I just, you know, it's one thing to just be on the open about it, but to not say anything, I don't know. I still love Wet n Wild, but that kind of made me feel weird about it, put a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know. So as I let that primer sit, I'm going to be going in with my brow pencil, it's Wet n Wild, in the shade Ash Brown. I've actually been loving this lately, especially because it is like the perfect color for my brows, honestly. That alone is enough for me to use it. Because I have such, since I am like so fair, anything can make me look orange like just like the teensiest bit of warmth can like throw everything off so i've just been taking it and filling in my brows now after that's done i've i usually always go in with my circa um ultra suede cream blush in the shade 01 imperia it is a beautiful like corally pink i think this would look this would work very very well on fair skin like me and very very you know tan complexed skin i think it looks beautiful so i literally just like pop this on and take another finger and just really blend that out and like a lot of the times i don't really even use blush brushes which is really really nice sometimes if i think i need more i will definitely add more if i'm feeling like i want a little bit more br blush but lately i've just been keeping it really light like i'm not sure why because i love a nice really blushed look on my face so i just think it adds the a nice natural kind of flush without being like too ba bam in your face and i'll actually take some and like put it on my nose because you guys know i have to have like some blush on my nose and i'll just kind of like smear it around realistically I get sunburned so like I don't even tan I just I just burn so to me this is very realistic of having like a red nose so then after I do that I go in with my contour and lately I've been using the Sephora um, colorful contour and it's in the state second chances this stuff you guys if you are a pale princess like I am perfect ashy tone i've actually been using this as eyeshadow whenever i want to do eyeshadow i just throw it in the crease and like really smudge it underneath my lash line 
beautiful. I love how it looks. It literally looks like my natural contour, like in my face. Like it looks so natural. I literally need like, I don't know how many backups of it because I am so in love with it. Then I'll just go and take like just a blending brush to blend all over because my cousin showed me that trick and I've been liking how this works. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just like kind of go over and graze my blush. And then I go in with my highlight, which is the Steve Laurent highlighter. I got this in BoxyCharm, but I actually got it to my from my friend because we switched like an item. So this is in the shade Cotton Candy. This is what the packaging looks like. It's like a jelly highlighter, but I love it, honestly. It is so beautiful and you can make it look so... You can make this stuff look so, so natural. It's, 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 I love it. So I just literally, like, just kind of tap it in with my finger on the high points of my face. And it just looks wet. Like, it doesn't even look like a highlight. It literally looks like my skin, but better. And I literally just put on highlight, just, just like that. And sometimes I'll just blend it like that with my fingers and, like, really focus it like up here I'm just kind of sweep back and of course don't forget the nose you always need like a nose highlight because we want to be Rudolph and it doesn't give me like a weird cast when I look at it head on even though it kind of looks like it would because it looks kind of dark in the pan but like just look how just beautiful that is sometimes I will take it and like kind of dab it in the inner corner like as a, like a layer and then what I've been doing recently I will take it and just like a little bit just very little just kind of like run it over my lid just like just a wash like barely any product on my finger and then the magic happens I go in with my master chrome um, highlighter in the shade 250 it's like a pink it's like a very champagne like almost white champagne like it is it's beautiful like this is so pale girl friendly I like I am I'm in love I have two of these they are that beautiful and I'll just take a little bit and sometimes if I have a little too much I'll just like kind of tap it on the high points of my cheeks and just really blend just right there and I'll just kind of blend it off with my finger and just tap it right in the center of my lid and then just kind of tap it out with the other finger and I think it just adds a little bit of life to your face I've been in love with how this works because it kind of makes you focus on the pupils when you look at someone it just adds like a little bit of life to your face especially when you just open your eyes then I take the highlight this highlight and then I'll just very lightly just run it over my cupid's bow ever so slightly just kind of run it over my cupid's bow i haven't been wearing any gloss whatsoever i just haven't been in the mood for any lip product so i'll just go in with some mascara this is the uh Too faced better than sex i got this in boxy charm i'm starting to like it a lot more now that um it's gotten older I, I literally just feel put together. I really do love this makeup look. Sometimes I interchange the products. Sometimes I throw in a little bit of eyeshadow. But mostly, this is what I've been doing. Like, every single day, every time I wear makeup. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'm looking forward to uploading again back on my schedule. Again, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. If there's any change, I will let you guys know. I Be sure to go and follow my socials down below. I'm hoping to have this video up on Monday, but it might be pushed off till Wednesday. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.